uh, have a tax question as well. Um, I heard that um, there's sort of like a, uh, I, I wish I remember the name. It's like an itemized tax appraisal. Uh, basically, you get someone out and they uh, separate the value of the land from the value of the structure, from the value of the furniture, and tell you how you can uh, depreciate it um, for taxes. I'm wondering if that's something that you typically do on your properties. Do you pay someone to come out and do that so that you can maximize your, your tax stuff? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think what you're referring to is a cost segregation analysis. Yes, that's it. Um, okay, yeah. So so yes, what they're, in fact, I've got a, an organization, a firm doing that right now for me. And so they give me, uh, they'll, they'll give me a, um, a projection of what they expect me to save. And they don't recommend me actually do it unless I'm making at least 10x my money. So per property, it for them, it costs me $1,000 to do this. And then it saves me $10,000 in taxes. And because there's there's a few things they do. One, they break out the, they separate the land from the structure, from the appliances and all the other things because they are, they're deducted over a certain or depreciated over a different time. You can't depreciate land. You, uh, the house, the structure of the house is depreciated over 27 and a half years. Unless it's commercial, then it's usually 40. But then you have appliances and other parts of the house that are, that could be depreciated over seven five or even three years. Um, some you can immediately deduct all of it in one year. And what they're doing is separating all of those out to make sure that, for example, uh, an appliance depreciated over five years, if it's a, a $5,000 appliance, you could write off $1,000 a year for five years, as opposed to just including that in the cost basis of your property and ending up depreciating it over 27 and a half years, right? A, a, an appliance is not going to last you 27 and a half years. And if it is, it's you know, it's probably not built in today. It might be one of those old school vacuums that just lasts for forever that was made in the 60s or 70s or something like that, but it's not going to be the case now. So so they separate all those things out. The other thing that they do that I think is maybe even more valuable is they will accelerate the depreciation to max to maximize your tax advantages. So what they can do is they can actually pull up the depreciation from future years and apply it to this year so you pay less taxes. Now, if you were to sell the property and you were ahead on depreciation, you would have to pay out that gain, which is fine. The other thing you need to con consider is down the road, you may have less, uh, less depreciation ability on your property and at the same time have higher cash flow because your rent is going to go up and you have a fixed rate on your mortgage. Or th theoretically, you would have a 30-year fixed rate mortgage. So you would increase your cash flow while your tax leverage is declining. At that point, you have a few options to essentially protect yourself from those those taxes and hedge your protection. You can buy a, or you can put your money into some type of tax advantaged insurance account or 401k, or you know you could maybe if your kids are above, I think it's seven years old, you could pay them up to you know fifteen thousand dollars a year, and that's that's tax free. You could put it in an educational account, um, or you could just go buy a property that doesn't cash flow really well but has great appreciation potential. So maybe you're flat on cash flow or something similar. Maybe you're even losing a hundred bucks a month, but you know that down the road, it has a higher appreciation potential. For example, buying in Austin or buying in Portland or something like that, uh, areas like that, where you will be able to accelerate your depreciation on that property, which would then cover where you're at now, that increased cash flow. But yes, that the the cost segregation analysis is an incredibly valuable tool for you to use.